Hey guys, it's me again, Gunrunner7271. Um, I'll probably edit that out, and we're going to try to do something seamless, so, you know, you can see me actually doing something here. Um, we've got tomatoes in here. In the hopper. In the hopper. This is the Roma Food Mill, and uh, this is a plunger, and you just start... Turning. You start turning, and you start plunging. And then the stuff comes out. Ooh, that's gooey. Gooey, 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 gooey. Okay, no. and you don't have to... When, when it's liquid like this, uh -huh. see how it's all liquidy uh -huh. in the hopper? You don't have to push. Okay. You just turn as hard oh. as you can. Oh. Okay. Yep. Now, and what? you can see there's a roller inside this uh, filter. It's a cone filter. And there is a screw that pushes the food along the screen, and then all the pulp comes down and goes flows down in here, and then you just put it in a bowl. And then when that bowl fills up, you put it in the okay. stock pot. One thing of note here, guys. I originally said the suction cup was all right. Mm -mm. With as much torque as I'm putting on here, the suction cup ain't all right. I mean, you know, I guess it's doing a pinch. But uh, I'm thinking right now that... We have the C-clamp on there. And yeah. That's the only way I've ever been able to do it. Right. Okay. Now, quick question. you got a Pamper Chef bowl over there. What looks to be spoils. What do you do with the spoils? When you have got this, what you call spoils, this is the seeds and the skin. Uh-huh. When you this is the full, seeds? you can. I don't. Okay. Because these are hybrid seeds. Oh, yeah. Okay. But if you were using heirloom, um, if you were using heirloom or first generation seeds, you'd then have to pick them out, and that'd be pretty labor intensive. You could pick them out. You could do it's it. not that labor intensive. No. no. Okay. If you just filter them through a screen, it's really easy. Okay. Um, but once you've got that full, uh -huh. okay, now give it a little bit of a plunge because you just have a bit of an airlock. But leave your plunger in. Okay. And until when you Ride can, it down. yeah, when you can feel the movement, feel okay. that, yeah. then you can bring your plunger back up. Now you can see a bunch more stuff is coming out. Right. Because of all the stuff that backs up in the screw, it creates oh, a yeah. vacuum. So anyway, once you've got this filled, you actually put it through one more time. Really? And a lot of this pulp, that's the thick stuff that you want, uh -huh. this pasty stuff, uh -huh. that will come out again so okay. you don't want to just leave it and then all of that that's that's done the second time around goes into um the compost okay yeah i'll bet this would be great for compost it's great for compost and the birds pick through it and no i have no. a i have a barrel composter oh okay so okay it it composts seeds and weeds and okay it gets really hot in the summertime yeah you know, I'm a gunsmith, and I'm pretty familiar with machinery. And right now, I'm thinking that this is pretty physically demanding of my attention. Um, I think I'm going to make something that I could put a mount on and motorize it. No? I don't know. No. I enjoy it. Oh, okay. I, I, I enjoy the physicality of it. Okay. Well, you know... It's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for you. Alright. Alright. As you guys can all hear, Hershey's going nuts because he's there's no no animals in the kitchen while we're canning. No. A cat maybe, but no big dogs. My big dogs are outside too, so he's uh he's not a yeah, happy there camper. There goes a cat. <laughs> he's not a happy camper. But, uh, you know, he'll get over it. Hershey's with me this weekend because uh, we're on a butch-up mission for Hershey. Hershey's a lot like a hostess cupcake, and that's probably what we should have named him. He's, uh, yeah, he's extra chocolatey, but uh, cream-filled center. You need to give him a little more credit. Uh, he's a sweet on, dog. Come on, come on, come on. I'm his dad. I know it. Okay, you've got an airlock again, so just push down until you can feel Oh, I see yeah. that. A bunch of crap come up out of there. If stuff isn't really coming out, uh -huh. then, you We've know, from this lock. bottom part, then you know that you're 
Okay. That you're stuck up there. By the way, these are available at Layman's Non Electric, and they are approximately oh. 60, 70 bucks. I think uh, if you get all three screens and an extra auger and a little parts kit there, I think you probably have a full C note in them. Okay. Worth every penny, obviously, if you're canning. I used to have a Foley food mill, which uh -huh. is a, it looks like a pan that you put on top of your sauce pot. Right. I hated that thing. Right. I've seen Foley's on, on high dollar cooking shows. I would take this over any Foley uh -huh. any day. Not that they're not bad. I just, it's not that, it's not something I found worked for me. Right. Now, what screen do you have on here? I have the tomato apple screen. Okay, are they marked? Yes, they are marked on the edge. If you will take this, I will get the others and show you where it is. Okay. That's what it looks like as it's uh, going down there. And uh, she's talking about, you know, when she talks about uh, airlock, it gets real easy to turn. So now you have to plunge a little bit. Okay, this these is, are extra screens? Yes, this is this is exactly what we have on. This okay. is a tomato apple screen, and this is a berry screen. And the only difference is that the holes are smaller. Okay. And it is harder to run tomatoes through the berry screen, just because tomatoes, you really want the pulp. Okay. Now, I have to ask you one question. Would you recommend anyone getting the accessory pieces like the screens and the the uh, spare parts kits that they sell if you can't manufacture things on your own mm -hmm. like I've manufactured all of the spare parts for this okay the only thing that I haven't manufactured is the spring but I'm pretty sure I could find one that worked right um, so yeah if you can't make it on your own um, uh -huh. The rubber O-rings and, I mean, even this handle, it's really, they're pretty right. simple to figure out. Oh, it will leak a little right here. That's why I have the trash can underneath. Okay. It's just part so of it will the, seat. just around this seal and especially when you're using stuff that's slightly frozen. Okay. Because then everything kind of shrinks, shrinks. and the yes. seals don't fit quite right. But right. it's okay. You just put the trash can under it. It's fine. Okay. The only thing that I probably couldn't manufacture is the actual screw that's in the unit, and when we the take auger. everything, yeah, the auger, um, when we take everything apart, I'll show you right. that. But it works. Okay, we're ready to add some more. Um, when I thaw, the reason that I freeze my stuff instead of um, putting boiling water over the tomatoes and then skinning them uh -huh. is time. And um, amount of energy expended. You use less electricity by taking your stuff and freezing it. And sometimes I'll just freeze whole tomatoes. If they're washed out of the garden and they're fine, right. put them on a cookie sheet, throw them in the freezer. They're frozen. Then you let them thaw and you put them in here. You're not, if it's in the summertime, you're not boiling water in the house. You don't have all that steam. You don't you're not have using... to skin the tomato. Right. And I hate skinning tomatoes. Right. And then if you're making sauce like we are, and you notice in the bottom of this big bowl, um, and I don't normally use plastic bags. My mom helped me and we use plastic bags. But you see the plastic bags will get holes, so there's all this fluid in the bottom of this bowl. Right. I don't use that. It contains a lot of the sugars right. that are in the tomato and water. And okay. I don't need that, so I don't use it. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to run this. <laughs> oh, am I not doing it correctly? You just got to go. You, know, you got to go. I'm just, sitting there cranking gently. Yeah, you got to really go. she's going like the bionic woman here. Okay. And you just keep feeding it down. And as you can see, she's gotten a lot more production out in 60 seconds than okay, I have Okay, when it gets about that high, uh -huh. you scrape off your... Yeah, to re-improve your flow to you your tray. You put this... And you slip another one there. Okay. This goes in the stock pot to be reduced. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna get on this cranking, and uh, you know, we'll get back to you.